Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. So, Javante Tank Davis, um, now Abdul Wahid, the who is 31 and 0, is now my bad. I'm tripping. He's 29 and 0. He has now been elevated to the WBA champion at 135 pounds now previously Devin the Dream Haney was the undisputed champion at 135 pounds but since Devin Haney has moved up to 140 pounds and relinquished the belt and he's not going back down to 135 pounds the belts are starting to become for grabs and Geronte Tang Davis who was the regular WBA champion is now the super WBA champion which you know the, the casual fan they don't know the difference but us Dahar fans the WBA title wasn't really a real belt it's just a money grab by the sanctioning bodies but whatever so Tank Davis has now been elevated to uh the real WBA champion. Now, shout out to Tank. You know, you change your name. You're Muslim now. Man, salute, brother. I'm always going to support you. Yeah, we're going to be hard on you from time to time. But we, we want to see you be great. Now, here's my thing, right? Everybody that was making fun of Devin Haney and email champion. It wasn't a real belt. He ain't fought nobody. How are you going to feel now when all these people start becoming email champions now? Are people going to make fun of Tank Davis and call him an email champion? Shakur Stevenson, when when it's time for his. And I want to, I want to hear it on here. I mean, don't get me wrong. Everybody's biased to a degree. But I just think it's funny that y'all drove Devin Haney try to drive him to the ground by calling him a fake champion an email champion but you ain't heard nothing since Tank Davis became champion now now that he is the regular champion or the real WBA champion I would like to see him unify and at least fight three times this year it's 2024 Al Heyman Amazon Steven Espinosa please keep this man active there should be no reason why he's fighting once a year or whatever. No, he need to be fighting three, four times a year. Stay active, keep the name up, and he might as well collect the belts. Because I believe, believe the other belts are vacant. Let me see. Yep, the IBF and WBO belts are vacant. So, you know, let's get, I don't know, a tournament or something to where... We can see what we what we want. You know, I, I'm okay with Tank staying out at 135, unifying, and either becoming undisputed or whatever. Then that way, him and David Haney they can fight at some point, and that can be for the real undisputed lineal champion, however y'all want to call it, right? But we'll see. I mean, this boxing 2023 was a hell of a year in boxing. We got to see a lot of fights. We want to see. Please the boxing and people, please the boxing gods. Let 24 be better than 23 because we cannot move backwards. We got to see Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis, Devin Haney and Prograce, Crawford Spence, and the list goes on and on and on and on. We don't want to see this year where there's a bunch of nobodies fighting and then you got the superstar boxers fighting a nobody and they only fighting once a year. But anyway, I digress. But I just want to get my two thoughts on it. The tank now becoming the the regular champ or the 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 real WBA champion. Tell me what y'all think.